Good morning, sweet world. I got for you another two interesting watches. But today I want to make a little bit different video because I don't want to talk about the watches themselves but about some kind of phenomenon uh, or even a defect but uh, sometimes it can even increase the value of the vintage watch. Maybe I'm not particularly a fan of, the, of this but uh, it is worth mentioning and, this, uh, and it is something called the spider dial. And as you can see, on the dial you have some kind of marks and those are, aren't cracks on the dial but uh, something that could remind you of the spider web and this is uh, something that happened to the dial itself uh, first of it was observed in Rolex watches when they change and the dial from matte finish to gloss finish and after some like period of time like 10 years or something uh, it developed something like this it, it is not a scratch or cracks on the dial but uh, but the, the dial itself developed this kind of pattern and uh, <clears throat> very often it don't decrease the value of the watch and sometimes some sellers even charge a premium value for this kind of defect. Personally, I wouldn't pay a premium price for the watch with defect, but sometimes I understand why it could be very appealing to the collectors. Here uh, is an example of the watch that it isn't that appealing, I would say. <clears throat> it looks more a bit like scratches on it, uh, but sometimes uh, collectors like this a vintage look achieved thanks to this kind of defect and here on this Cartier watch it's much better and here I would say uh, it could even increase the value because it looks more <laughs> interesting just because of that it, it's uh, something like a wave pattern there is really a lot of small lines here on this dial and thanks to that the dial itself looks more interesting so I would say in this particular watch this kind of defect could even increase the value uh, as I said I wouldn't pay premium price for this kind of defect in, in, the, in the watch but, but uh, I a little bit understand why some collectors like it uh, and why they can pay more for, for this kind of uh, pattern and uh, make by further time on the dial. And here you have a sh one more shot from my mobile phone. A bit different light conditions. Maybe you will be able to see it better because today we have really cloudy and dark day. As you can see in most angles those patterns won't be visible at all so it's really not a big problem but it could be something interesting for somebody. Okay just I want to show you uh, because I just recently find out about this name because I saw the auction with the watch with the so-called spider dial and somebody wanted to sell it for a much higher price than regularly this model goes for and uh, I was curious if he came up with this name, but I, uh, it's the, it turned out that this is a thing, and then uh, really some uh, many people like this kind of pattern on the vintage watch because that's a little bit more vintage feel to it, and both of those watches are quite old uh, here. This uh, a beautiful Omega watch is from the 70s with beautiful Burgundy. Burgundy Bacalite bezel and Omega Seamaster and uh, here this mask the Cartier is also from the 80s so both those watches this one is like almost 50 years old this is also 40 years old so and uh, this uh, patterns on the dial could look very unique and distinct okay so uh, thank you for watching, just a quick information video about the spider dial. 
Uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye.